When you think of Avenger, it's pretty hard not to picture Thor, Iron Man, or Captain America, right? But what if I told you there's another Avenger on the scene? No, it doesn't fly around in a metal suit or wield a magical hammer. Instead, it's been catching the world's attention, especially after turning heads on the Ukrainian battlefield. Curious yet? Well, pull up a seat as we deep dive into the real-world marvel that is the American Air Defense System, the Avenger and TWQ-1. Let's roll back the clock to the vibrant 1980s. The American military got a whiff of something that seemed straight out of a sci-fi film. Thanks to Boeing, the birthplace of many flying wonders, the Avenger was more than just a cool name. Picture this, a muscular Humvee frame seamlessly integrated with a missile pod that dances a full 360 degrees. It's hard to believe, right? But by 1984, it was time for this behemoth to prove its worth. Racing at a brisk 22 miles per hour, the Avenger was tasked with unleashing the might of the FIAM-92 Stinger missile. And of the three intense tests, conducted in broad daylight, the cover of night, and amidst unpredictable rain, two were absolute hits while one showed that even heroes can have an off day. Now, following this series of tests, the Avenger didn't just rest on its laurels. It went back, got better, got bolder. Come 1987, the US military was all in, ordering a whopping 325 units. By the 1990s, this mechanized marvel wasn't just another vehicle. It had taken the spotlight, overshadowing the likes of the M163 and M167 VADs. Designed with precision and purpose, it had a clear mission. To shield important structures and formidable ground weaponry from threats like agile cruise missiles, unpredictable drones, sneaky low-flying aircraft, and yes, even those hovering formidable helicopters. All right, gearheads, hold on to your seats. The Avenger is more than just a cool name. It's an arsenal powerhouse. Picture this. The Avenger's turret, rotating a full 360 degrees, is home to two missile pods. Each pod cradles four missiles, and their weapon of choice? The FIM-92 Stinger. This bad boy doesn't mess around. With a range stretching up to 5 miles, an altitude grasp of nearly 2 miles, and breakneck speeds touching Mach 2.2. That's a jaw-dropping 1,682 miles per hour, folks. But there's more. The missile's got an ace up its sleeve. An infrared homing-guided system that tracks heat. And get this, you can even operate these Stinger missiles manually. But wait, there's a sidekick. The Avenger packs a punch on the ground too, wielding a 50 caliber M3 machine gun. Now, beyond the firepower, let's talk mobility. With a Detroit V8 diesel engine under the hood, the Avenger can cruise for 185 miles and hit speeds up to 55.3 miles per hour. And considering it weighs a mere 8,600 pounds, it's practically a featherweight champion. This makes airlifts a breeze, especially with the Boeing C-17 Globemaster flexing its muscles to carry up to 171,000 pounds. Do the math. That's nearly 20 Avengers on a single flight. Given its nimble design, even helicopters can give it a lift. It's no wonder we've seen the Avenger flexing its might from the sandy dunes of the Gulf War to the rugged terrains of Afghanistan and, more recently, the landscapes of Ukraine.
still with me? Great, because the Avengers radar tech is something right out of a sci-fi novel. The missile pods are fitted with a plethora of radars. Think long-range infrared, automatic video trackers, laser finders, and the creme de la creme, the Sentinel AN-MPQ-64 radar. Serving as the Avengers' eyes and ears, the AN-MPQ-64 is a 3D marvel. Operational range? A hefty 9.32 miles, pinpointing dozens of objects within nearly a 6-mile radius. It's not just about detecting, it's about discerning. The radar can tell friends from foes, even if they're flying identical birds. And thanks to its next-gen tech, the Avenger can aim and fire with precision even during a stormy night. Now, given all the bells and whistles we've delved into, isn't it clear why the Avenger is the crown jewel of America's air defense lineup? This beast brings to the table raw firepower, cat-like agility, and the sharp eyes of an eagle. And here's the kicker. It only asks for two folks to run the show, a driver and a turret operator. That's teamwork at its finest. Ever thought about supercharging an Avenger? Well, the US did. By teaming it up with the likes of the Patriot missile, its prowess reaches another level. But even flying solo, the Avenger is no slouch. Case in point, Ukraine, where our metallic hero sent a Russian Shahid 136 drone packing before it could mess with crucial infrastructures. But innovation never sleeps, right? Over the years, ideas to jazz up the Avenger kept pouring in. A particularly ambitious one was strapping a laser weapon atop its turret, a true Star Wars moment. However, Boeing's vision, as futuristic as it was, hit the brakes in 2012 due to concerns over efficiency and costs. But setbacks aren't stop signs. The Avenger soon got wind of fresh toys like the AIM-9X Sidewinder and the Longbow Hellfire rockets, both top picks from the Accelerated Improved Interceptor Initiative AI3 program aimed at knocking everything out of the sky, from pesky rockets to sneaky drones. However, let's be real. In this rapidly changing world, even legends face competition. While the Avengers been an MVP since the Cold War, whispers suggest that its time in the spotlight might be waning. The next big thing? The IM Shorad, touted for its uber-modern turret and a quad pack of FIM-92 Stinger missiles. Its real magic trick? Rapid-fire capabilities, even on the go. So, as the pages of history turn, we might just witness the IM Shorad stepping into the Avengers' colossal shoes as America's aerial defense frontrunner. Well, folks, we've taken quite the journey today. From lasers to interceptors and the legends of air defense. Catch you on the flip side, and until our next video adventure, stay curious.